big is this opportunity for you and how much are you relishing the challenge of starting the cool room like Palace Park? Yeah, no, I'm excited. Um, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. Probably, if you told me five weeks ago when I was strapping up down in Aredi Park down in South and that I'd be starting in Alice Park, I probably would have told you to get lost, but I'm uh, super excited and grateful for the opportunity. Cody, how do you get a sense of how this week has been on the back of another loss, pressure mounting outside, always swirling around it? How has this week been for the team? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of noise out there. Um, but uh, no, nah, it's been good. Like we're, uh, you know, the obvious has happened, uh, and this team is making steps each week. I think, and I think there were some great steps made last week. Obviously, the result doesn't sh doesn't show that, but um, where we want to go and where we're trying to be as an All Black um, team is definitely still in sight. And um, you know, you can't ask for much more from the from the lads that are getting the opportunity every week. And you know, it's, it's not through lack of trying. Um, but we just got to nail a few more opportunities that come our way, a few more moments. That's what Test Footy is about, and and uh, hopefully we get the yeah get the result. Yeah, Dean, Dean, sorry, Dean, you just talked us through that, that last five weeks. I mean, obviously going to tomorrow, we're going to be disappointed about why we can't actually win Wayne, but some some hard work and thirty place and how it's done to help spark you just give us some insight to what they've done. Yeah, um, obviously I was pretty gutted at the start when I didn't make the first um, series, but now looking back, it was probably a good thing. Um, I did need to go put put in some work, so yeah, for me it was just going away and doing a bit of training on my own. Um, yeah, looking in from the from the outside, that was awesome. What were you challenged, Ethan, to do better? To be better at? Um, just my work rate, uh, getting off the ground. Cody, what uh, what should Ethan expect at Dallas Park this weekend? So the first two minutes will be absolutely heaving because of the. I um, suppose the, the altitude and um, just the arena itself, um, it's an intense place to play but it's also the best place to play in the world, like uh, you don't get much much better, there's some awesome history in, in Ellis Park and um, I definitely have fond memories of, of running around the black jersey there so yeah, that, that work of getting off the ground is going to pay dividends I think. Um, he's a he's a man that doesn't say much. Um, probably not. It's just his personality, not because he's shy or anything. But when he does, he does have authority with his voice. For you know, he's only 22, and uh, to see someone like that come into this environment and uh, you know put his hand up is, is, is just just credit to who he is. And um, I don't know his family is really proud. I'm pretty sure his, his old man's on a bird at the moment, trying to get over here for the test. So just yeah. Um, just hugely excited for him and his family to, to get an opportunity like this at you know, one of the greatest parks in the world. Ethan, um, first time in Africa, I assume. What, what sort of the highlights been for you so far? Um, yeah, we, on our days off, we've gone, gone out and gone to Kruger last week. Uh, a bit of a line park this week, so that's just good to get and about. Um, yeah, you always want to be out there. Um, so getting an opportunity this week is there's plenty of energy there. Uh, feel, feeling pretty refreshed from I suppose the, the week off, but um, yeah, that's just another opportunity really, and, and it doesn't get much better than than this given I suppose where we've been in the last few weeks. Ethan for Croppers playing the box in this form on their intimidating home ground. Is this kind of one of the biggest challenges in the game and how much do you kind of relish it? Yeah, yeah. They're, um, they're good at, at their set piece, so now I'm excited for the challenge. What's that, sorry? What do you make of Joseph Gilbert? The hooker's coming for the night. Oh, he's... Solidly, bugger in these. Uh, um, I've sort of seen from afar uh, the, the I suppose explosive man he is. He's he's obviously a, a big unit, and uh, 
yeah, pretty impressed with the way he goes about things on the field. So I know he'll be, uh, I suppose, looking forward to this opportunity himself and uh, getting to run out there. And I had a talk to him a couple of weeks ago around um, him hopefully getting a crack. So it's good to see that he is. Oh, I think it's just two hugely proud rugby nations going head to head, uh, combined with uh, a bit of mutual respect for for the way that South Africa play and the, and the way that All Blacks play. And um, there's always you no know, good um, relationships built off the back of those games and a lot of respect between the players. So, but once you're out there, it's all go. You know, it's you're giving everything you can because the sappers aren't small and um, it's what it takes if you want to win over here. So, what are your sort of memories as a young lad growing up and watching the box? You would get up at 3 a.m. kind of guy? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I just remember the big. Um, yeah, the big rivalries that they've had, the close games. Um, yeah, obviously the box being a big, big pack. Um, 